What's up everyone? Welcome to Low and Slow. It's my channel. It's my son Jacob. My name's Travis. And uh, we are here working on a Honda Civic today. It's a 1999 Honda Civic EX with a B20B block, B16 head. Uh, right now it has a full exhaust, uh, exhaust header and an aftermarket intake manifold, which is like a knockoff skunk too. I don't know if you can read that right there. Yeah, I don't even know what that says. <laughs> but and a colder intake but that's all it is for now it's got arp head studs in it when i put this head on i made sure i put head studs in it for da -da -da -da, turbo kit this is what we will be installing today this is what we have a little ebay manifold this is pretty much an entire ebay car by the way that's kind of the uh the build with this pretty clean I have 17s on it right now, but we are going to put 15 by eights on there. Uh, transparent bronze is the color. eBay rims, so. Yeah, she's locked right now, so can't open the door, but yeah, that's pretty cool. Got a Viper alarm on it, power locks, power windows, and the best thing about this entire build, I live in Florida and I have AC. So that's what's gonna make this build really special. Having the turbo with the AC, everything working at once. That's the game plan, right, son? Yeah. What you eating on there? Let <laughs> me see you eat one. Google <laughs> 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 free ad, man. <laughs> chips, free ads. We also have eBay intercooler, all the pipes, all the couplers. And we have 1,000 RC injectors. Um, and we have a resistor box. And I actually have a plug and play cord coming for this that we can just plug directly into there, into the dummy plug and we can run that. We have a 255 Walbro fuel pump, um, AEM wideband. I got this little mount right here for the, for the, uh, the bezel. Got my wide band right here and then my boost gauge over here. First thing to do, Jacob's gonna get the wheels off. Make sure, make sure that socket's all the way on there when you do that. There you go. You get those off and then the next thing to do is probably drain the AC. You know, I want to get this, uh, get these lines out of the way in order to fit the manifold. In order to fit the manifold on there, I want to get those lines out of the way. So that'll be the next thing. I just want to get the wheels and front bumper off to make room for uh, mounting the intercooler piping. And wow, I need tires. That tire is very bad. Look at that. That's not good. That's not good. All right, guys, this is where we're at so far. We got the AC condenser out. We got the radiator out. Got the radiator hose off. I've got the grill off the car. Uh, next thing to do is probably get this bumper off. I would like to get this bumper off and just get it out of the way so we can see how we're gonna do the intercooler and stuff. And uh, get this exhaust manifold off. And see if we can get this turbo to fit. We may have to notch the block where these ribs are at right here. Because the turbo is gonna sit right here because I'm keeping the AC so it's gonna face this side. Um, yeah. We are making some progress. That's where we're at so far, guys. Got the bumper off. Got all the AC stuff out. Radiators out. Jacob's taking the exhaust manifold off right now. This is actually going a lot smoother than I thought it would. I don't want to jinx myself, though. Let's see if Jacob can break this loose. I don't even know if I can get over there. Get her on there straight, boy. Yeah, boy. Break her loose. There you go. Look at that. Now squeeze that trigger. There you go, boy. Look at you, boy. <laughs> All right. This is where we're at so far. We got the turbo mounted on here, which you can see we got a problem. The problem is the turbo is hitting the block right here. 
mainly. Oh, actually, yeah, that part's hitting right there. And then maybe this rib. I don't know if you guys can see back there. It starts right here, this rib down there. I think we can notch that out. We can notch that out and maybe she'll slide on there. So we're gonna do that now and we'll get back with you. Take a little chunk out the block right here. Got my old handy dandy saw. Here we go. Hopefully we won't take too much out. Get this, you gotta record this part. wrong with this thing? The hell? <laughs> oh, shit. <laughs> Still gotta cut the rib though, so. Yep, it's that rib right there. It's gotta be cut, so I think we're gonna use the grinder for that one. Put the grinder in there and shoo, shoo, shoo. All right, I'll do that. crappy wheel on here but hey, that's all we got that's how we're gonna do it shit man <laughs> i think i just shot myself Close. Still hitting now. How much did you take out? Just I need my light. Got the flashlight right there. I need a better wheel for the grinder, really, because this wheel kind of sucks. Looks like you got another couple centimeters you can slide in. I don't know if it's going to be enough for you. All right, guys, this is where we're at. So knots in the block did not work because this part of the turbo where the wheel's at sticking out uh, was hitting right here. So we would have to take a whole bunch off and I wasn't doing that. So we flipped it around and this is what we have. Still have the AC compressor right there. It's really close, but she does fit that way. The only thing I'm looking at is the AC condenser and the fan, but what I'll probably do is build some kind of custom way to put the AC condenser right here and put the fan right in front of it. You know, to not have enough room, it'd just be tucked back here. So that's probably something I'll do after I route all the piping, you know, and then in case I have to get a custom line or something made, which I probably will because it won't reach like that. So probably get some custom lines made and 
make it all work, but that's cool. I like this anyways, cause uh, I have way more room on this side for the exhaust. I was a little worried about that, so. But, looks like it's gonna work. Hell yeah. All right, guys, we are going to finish off right here. We just got uh, the cold side on here, just kind of mocked it up. We'll probably take it back off and adjust things. This is how the turbo is gonna run though. We're close, but we ain't touching. So I got um, I got new clamps and I got a downpipe coming in. So a downpipe and an uppipe. And I got V-band clamps coming in. So we will stop right there and get back on this tomorrow. Yeah, I don't know how to talk to the camera yet, but I'm getting used to it. So uh, just bear with me. I know I probably sound a little slow, but <laughs> things to get better so all right guys i hope you enjoyed this if you liked the video like comment uh subscribe please if i get like one subscriber i'm gonna give a giveaway <laughs> oh all right see you guys later